Hey, good afternoon. It's a, a real honor and pleasure to be here. I, I don't know that I could tell you anything that you probably haven't already heard before, uh, but this has been uh, obviously the culmination of uh, at least uh, nine months of us being together as a crew. Um, we have numerous parallel paths that, of course, go on simultaneously. Uh, we've been uh, deep entrenched in our training and getting to uh, uh, develop all of our individual requirements for accomplishing our objectives on this mission. And then, of course, the individual uh, software, or all the hardware that's being developed uh, to come onto our mission, the, uh, the vehicle being ready, uh, the program, deciding how everything's going to integrate, and even up to the last minute, uh, any kind of changes that are, uh, that are occurring all being integrated, uh, sheer uh, to get the International Space Station uh, to the best condition it can be in uh, for our once we depart. Uh, trying to repair any little things that uh, may be going wrong in addition to our primary objectives, which, of course, to get some uh, large external spare parts up. So you know, not only just is it on a, uh, the U.S. level, but, of course, on the interna international level to try to bring together all these things uh, at this one point. And we are uh, truly honored uh, to play a, a small part uh, in making all this happen. Uh, with that behind me, of course, I have uh, five of the finest individuals that I could have ever hope to be uh, working with. And uh, I'll start with uh, Barry Wilmore. He'd like to say a few words. Thanks, Gord. Good morning. Um, as we flew in just now, we saw, of course, the uh, orbiter on the pad, Atlantis, looking uh, bright and shiny. And I was thinking as we, uh, as we were looking at her um, about the literal years of preparation that have gone in to getting this vehicle in the, in the position where it's at now. Uh, I think about the folks up at Marshall Space Flight Center and Robert Lightfoot, the center director, and the program managers, uh, Steve Cash and Jody Singer, and all of their people that have literally worked for years in preparation for what's going to take place on Monday. And the effort that they put into it, the SSME, the uh, RSRB, and external tank projects, and all the people that work hours and hours and hours in preparation for, for what's going to take place, like I said, on Monday. And not just the folks at Marshall, but there's people and uh, civilian contractors literally from coast to coast, California to Florida, people like Doug Bradley and Terry Boardman and uh, Harry Reid and others that work for uh, Pratt & Whitney Rocketdyne, ATK, uh, Lockheed Martin, United Space Alliance, Honeywell, uh, literally a, a national effort in, what's pr in preparing uh, for, for like, like I said, again, what, what's to take place Monday when we launch off about 2.28 in the afternoon. So to those people around this nation that have put their heart and soul into this mission, we are grateful. Our nation's grateful um, for its human space flight program. And uh, just a word of thanks from the STS-129 uh, uh, crew to those folks. Thank you. Oh, next, Leland Melvin. Say a few words. I'd just say thanks to Butch, uh, my esteemed colleague, and the other guys here. We, uh, this is my second time flying on Atlantis. It's a great opportunity. We're very blessed to be here, as well as just to have an opportunity to fly in space. And uh, this, this is something that's been, you know, we've been working on for the last year and a half, getting ready. And I just want to thank the media out here for helping share our space flight experience with the rest of the world, because we get the opportunity to go, but a lot of other people don't. And it's a very, it's, a, it's an honor, but it's, it's great to share this experience with the rest of the world and I just want to thank you for being here and the other people that are going to be following the mission and writing stories and helping inspire that next generation, that next kid that's going to be a doctor or astronaut or a fighter pilot and it's, it's you guys that help spread that word so thank you very much. I'd like to introduce uh, Randy Comrade Bresnik, MS2. Good morning and uh, as you know, you know, getting ready for space flight, we do a lot of simulations and space shuttle training and all that, but the other big part of our uh, getting ready for space flight, whether you're a pilot or come from an avi aviation background or not, is uh, flying our planes uh, the aircraft operations division uh, provides for us. We've got the T-38s that we fly uh, you know, year in, day in, day out, um, and we've got the SDA folks and, and the uh, transport folks that, that uh, fly with us. So I just wanted to say thanks to all the you know, instructor pilots, you know, the, uh, the staff, the mechanics, the, the plane captains, you know, the flight equipment guys, the avionics folks, just, just everybody that's involved with that huge effort for all they do to get us ready every day to fly here on Earth, which helps us be ready to fly once we get up into space. So thank you to all of you. Now, MS3, EVA1, Mike Foreman. EV1. Thanks, comrade. Well, it is. It's great to be back here in Florida again. We're excited about uh, getting ready to launch. It uh, looks like you guys are doing the right thing, getting the bad weather out of here today, so Monday looks good, and uh, we're looking forward to that. 
uh, with everybody thanking uh, the various groups. We, I think we'd be remiss if we didn't thank our uh, families. Uh, we got great support teams back in Houston, uh, family, friends, parents, and especially our spouses. So I want to I want to give a, a thank you to all of them for the great support in during all of our training and and uh, you know we've we've spent a lot of time at the Johnson Space Center and here at Kennedy training and. Uh, our families have gone without us. Uh, things usually work a little better at my house when I'm not around, but I know that's not true for everybody. Uh, but anyway, I want to thank the families for supporting us like they do. And with that, I'll turn it over to MS4, Bobby Satcher. Uh, good morning, everybody. It's uh, great to be here. It's a beautiful day here in uh, Florida. And uh, we're really excited about uh, Monday coming up. Another group that I think uh, I'd like to specifically thank is the, uh, the EVA training team. Uh, as you know, we're going to be doing three spacewalks, and they've spent hours and hours and hours with us, getting us ready to make us as prepared as we can be. Uh, and finally, one of the groups that doesn't get a whole lot of attention is, is actually the medical group, which is uh, a group which is near and dear <laughs> to my heart, of course. And I uh, just wanted to let them know that they're not forgotten, and, uh, and we appreciate everything that they do for us also. I don't uh, have anybody else to introduce, so I'm going to turn it back over to our uh, commander, uh, Commander Hobo. Thanks. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot for uh, showing up. Uh, we were looking forward to a great mission. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Can you grab a group shot before you take yeah. off?